So over here, you can see that I have a PDF document and if I want to use custom stamps, then what I can simply do is I can go ahead into comment and then I can go to stamp tool right here and on the bottom, you can see custom stamp is an option. So you can create or manage custom stamps right here. So I'm just going to go around over here and click on create just like this. So once I do that, you can see that it says select image for custom stamp and I can simply click on browse. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, go around into the TutorTube drive right here. And then once I do that, you can see that it only accepts PDF files as stamps right here. So I'm just going to go around into the PDF uh, file right here and I'm going to select the TutorTube PDF right here and click on open. Once I do that, you can see that now this a PDF file has been imported as a stamp. So I can simply press OK and now you can keep this in the category you want. So I'm just going to go around into standard business and I'm going to rename the stamp as TutorTube right here. So once I do that, I can go around over here. You can select the image for a custom stamp and browse another image as well or press OK. So once you do that, you can go to stamp right here and then you can go around into standard business and over here you can see that you can access your custom stamps. So let's say, for example, you want to use this, I can simply click here and then there you go. There's the stamp right there. So you can also add your custom stamp to favorites. And to do that, you can select the stamp that you uh, imported in and then you can go around into uh, this option right here. And then you can just uh, go around and click on add current stamp to favorite. And then you'll be able to access this out right here whenever you need it. You can also go around over here and remove this from custom stamp, of course. And if you want to manage out your custom stamps, you can go to custom stamps and manage that out. And here you can see that you can access your custom stamp and you can create more. You can edit this out as well to replace it with other stamps or you can delete the stamp out entirely if you don't want to work with it. So I'm just going to go around over here and press OK. You can also add in stamp uh, by copying out images and then pasting it over here. So in order to do that, you can see that I have a web page right here. So what I can do is I can right click and I can copy out the image right here. So once I do that, what I can do is I can go to stamp and you'll have this option to paste the clipboard image as a stamp tool. And then if I were to go around and then click, you can see that the stamp, uh, the image that we copied now is imported in as a stamp. And that is how you can work around with the custom stamp tool and then import your own stamps inside of your PDF documents. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.